oh, that's, that's really fun and pretty terrifying. I'm here at Thunder Laser in Dongguan, China. Today, we're gonna see how laser cutters like these are made. Let's go take a look at the first step in the process. These enclosures are made entirely of sheet metal parts. There's a few small pieces of tubing in it, but there's no underframe. It's all a bent sheet metal frame that's stacked up out of different parts that are just bolted together by sheet metal screws and bolts. This is a 6,000 watt fiber laser, super accurate. Leaves a very narrow curve, so it only takes out a tiny width of material where it's cutting. They bring the bent parts up here to start tack welding them together into full enclosures. Then they bring the parts over here and she is putting on putty. She's filling every little divot and hole and crack and imperfection so that the finished case is beautiful and flat and perfect. This is the powder coating booth. It's a pretty cool process. It's a dry powder that comes out of the gun. Very, very fine mist of powder. The piece attracts the, the powder to it and sticks to it. The parts head into a 210 degree Celsius oven and that melts the powder coating and bakes it onto the surface of the metal. Whew, it is still quite hot. Once they are fully assembled here, they get wrapped up in plastic and sent to the final assembly factory. This is the laser tube testing and burning area. Hands down, it's one of the coolest rooms in the factory. Behind me here are a bunch of glass tubes that are in the burn-in phase. So when they receive the tubes from their supplier, first they put them on a test bench, test the output of the laser, then they stick them on this burn-in bench for eight hours and run them. The beam out of the front of the laser tube is invisible and it's quite a bit of heat going into that graphite block. So they do testing, then an eight hour burn-in, then testing again to make sure power hasn't dropped. Then for the glass tubes, they shelve them for 15 days and then test them again to make sure that the power hasn't dropped. This is where everything electrical is being added to the machine. You can see control board, power distribution, and then he's got these cable trays running around it to keep everything nice and tidy. Once they install the tube, then they do testing in the same location. So next, he's aligning all of the optics of the machine. So lenses, but mostly mirrors. So the tube's in back, and it's getting bounced through a two-way mirror along with a red visible diode laser, basically like a red laser pointer. The finished machines come down here to be packed up, crated, and shipped out. To see more, click below to watch the whole video.